let's say uh, hedge eye healthcare is right and 18 is worse, uh, demographics are horrible, like what, what happens then? Well, what we, what we see on the demographic side is, is we've shown this slide a bunch, it's just the delta, um, and this problem is gonna plague healthcare well into the mid 2020s, is, is just that where all your growth is coming from is Medicare, uh, where there is no growth is in the commercially insured, and well, by the way, we just insured everybody uh, that we possibly could um, <clears throat> over the last over the last 10 years uh, through the Affordable Care Act. And the problem with that is that Medicare generally and then Medicare Advantage within that uh, pays much less than commercial. Uh, so you've got good growth in Medicare and really lousy growth in, in the commercially insured. Uh, you're gonna end up with about a 43% delta uh, between a commercially insured price and a, and a, um, and a Medicare price uh, for the same service. Uh, that's, that's deflationary in our view, and what it does to margin, uh, if we roll all this up over a multi-year period, uh, our margin index for 2018 takes a pretty substantial step down. Again, applying margin uh, to the enrollment by, uh, by payer type, you can, you can create an index like this, and, and we think it's going to be down pretty substantially into 2018. One of the other consequences for a bad market, uh, slowing market, and margin pressures, I think you'd see a lot of bankruptcies which was definitely true in 17, and it looks like it's gonna be equally true in 18, because on a year-to-date basis, uh, 2018 is as high or higher than any of the years 20, 2006 to 2016. So I, I think from a, just from a, you know, maybe there's an investment thesis around this chart specifically, but I think at a, at a minimum, it's a, a reports out uh, how correct we're being in terms of what's going on, um, you know, underneath the hood of, of, of company reports and, and all, the, all the nice things companies are saying about ongoing recovery in Q4. The other thing you would see is a lot of M&A. So you, if you need revenue growth, if you need margin expansion, you need cost cutting, uh, M&A is a great way to go. And we've definitely seen you know, a decent amount of acceleration, particularly in 1Q, uh, whether or not it's major hospitals uh, merging, uh, CVS Aetna, Cigna Express, and, and sort of the rumor around Walmart and Humana. Uh, but big deals, I, I think the common denominator here is control and grab of the patient at the very, very earliest stages uh, of you know, their medical care and, and basically controlling the patient soup to nuts. Yeah.